Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 67, which was released on May 21st. This is the third major browser update in 2019. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the key changes in this new browser update. First of all, Mozilla has made some performance improvements under the hood. For example, deprioritizing background tasks, suspending idle or unused tabs, faster startup if you've customized Firefox with a theme or add ons. Next up, starting in Firefox 67, Mozilla will begin using dedicated profiles. So Firefox creates a profile where information like bookmarks, passwords, and user preferences are saved. In previous versions of Firefox, this single profile was shared by default if you use different versions of Firefox, and this could cause the browser to become unstable. So with dedicated Firefox profiles, you will now be able to run multiple Firefox installations side by side by default. Next up, enhance privacy and security via crypto mining and fingerprinting protection. In Firefox 67, under privacy and security, users can now block known crypto miners and fingerprinters. Apart from providing enhanced privacy and security, this feature will also help enhance browser performance. There are also some improvements in private browsing mode. If you go to about colon add-ons, you can now control which Firefox extensions run in private browsing mode. So if you click on a specific extension, you will see these options to allow and don't allow. Also now you have the option to save passwords in private browsing mode. So while we are on the topic of the password manager, you now have easier access to your logins and passwords via the Firefox menu. Additionally, you have the option to disable autofill logins and saving of passwords. In terms of pinning Firefox tabs, tabs can now also be pinned directly from the page actions menu in the address bar. We will see this option to pin tab. Firefox screenshots has been a popular feature. In previous versions of Firefox, you could save your screenshots to the cloud on the Firefox server. Starting in Firefox 67, this option will be disabled, but you will still be able to download screenshots to your local drive, as well as copy it to the clipboard. Finally, you will notice the Firefox profile icon in the toolbar above, in the top right corner. If you're logged into your Firefox account, you will notice several handy options for syncing tabs, devices, and managing your account. So these were some of the notable changes in Firefox 67. You can check the list of detailed changes in the release notes. You'll find the link in the description section. In terms of the BrowserMark benchmark test results, the overall performance of Firefox remains steady compared to the earlier version. On the other hand, Google Chrome still continues to outperform. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.